Welcome to the Daphne Capture Scan Module Training Session. The scan module is where you may scan paper files using Twain or ISIS driver scanner. To access the scan module, go to the batch directory and select a batch that says Scan Module next to it in the list and click the blue Process button. You may also create a new batch and start in the scan module. Begin by making sure the system recognizes your scanner and has it selected in the scanning selection area. Once your scanner is selected, click on the scan setting window to set up the blank page removal options in the scanner driver settings. To access the scanner driver settings, click to the advanced button. This screen will be different for various brand and module scanners. The scanner selection and scan setting options will remain set until the program is closed. Once you select these options, they will remain the same for consecutive batches as long as the program is not closed down. Set your document separation setting. The no separation option will scan everything as one single document and allows you to manually scan to individual documents as you start and stop the scanner. Choosing a document separator will automatically create a new document based on a generic value or specific value barcode. First, select the barcode type. If you would like to create a new document on a barcode found, regardless of value, leave the value field blank. If you would like to create a new document only on specific value barcodes, type the barcode value that should be used for separation in the value field. By checking the delete separator page option, the barcode image will be deleted once the new document is created. If you are using the barcode sheet for indexing, leave this option unchecked. To create a new document based on a specific number of pages, set the number of pages that should be in each document. Remember that this number is based on images, not physical paper pages. If you have double-sided paper, those would count as two pages electronically. These features is useful when you have a set of number of consistent pages in each document. If you set up automatic zone recognition with the separation option in the batch profile, then the batch profile zone separation option will be enabled and selected by default for all batches in that profile. The separation setting will remain set until the program is closed. Once you select these options, they will remain the same for consecutive batches as long as the program is not closed down or as long as the batch profile does not have an overriding zone separation setting typed into it. Barcode indexing is used for reading barcodes and indexing at scan time rather than running through a barcode recognition process later. This feature is only useful when all the following are true. One. All barcodes are required recognition are on page 1 of each document. 2. All barcodes are the same barcode type. 3. Multiple barcodes are ordered on the page in the same order as the index field for batch profile and a barcode is never blank or skipped. To turn this feature on, make sure that the box is checked and select the barcode type in the drop down. To automatically flag specific barcode pages, check the box to turn on the flag pages option. When checked, pages containing the barcode type and value specified will automatically be flagged. This is useful when specific barcode sheets are being used as a placeholder for images that need to be inserted during the quality control process. The scanner driver setting windows will appear every time you click the scan button. To start scanning instantaneously without the setting window appearing, make sure to check the Hide Scanner Property options. When this is checked, the Start Scanning and Continue Scanning button will start the scanning process automatically without any further user interaction. As pages are passed through the scanner, they will quickly appear in the image viewer. Sometimes this can cause the PC or scanner to slow down, especially on lower grade machines. By default, every page flashed in the viewer. To increase the flash rate of the image, you can choose to set how many pages should be scanned before a preview is flashed. Once scanning is complete, you have the option to navigate and view pages in the document tree. 
When viewing documents, you have many options. There are many shortcut features using the mouse and keyboard. Right-click on a page in the tree with the mouse to see all of the shortcut key options. You can also select multiple pages and documents in the tree by using the shift or control key on the keyboard and clicking with the mouse or using the up and down arrow key on the keyboard. Zoom in on a specific area of the image by tracking a box with your mouse. To zoom out to see the full page, double-click on the image with your mouse. When you delete a page or document, you will see a red X appear. This means that the image is not yet removed from the system, but it is marked for deletion. If you want to unmark the image for deletion, use the indicated shortcut key or right-click with the mouse and select Undo Delete. To permanently delete a page or a group of pages that are marked for deletion, use the Refresh button in the Scan tab of the menu bar. You may recover permanently deleted images by using the indicated shortcut key or right-clicking with the mouse and select a Recover Deleted Pages. The Recycle bin will appear. From here, you may insert the deleted image back into their original location. Once you complete the scan process, click on Done and send the batch to the next module.